thought we'd start up on the project site. I mentioned before that this is a completely open source effort. Um, one of the things that we're really trying to encourage is users um, from the community, whether they be just people who are interested in accessible technology, people who want to consume talking books, or uh, people with disabilities. We really want people to get involved in testing DAISY. So you can hop up to the SourceForge site, which is um, sourceforge.net, WAC projects, WAC, uh, openxml DAISY. On here, um, I mentioned before that we're building this on .NET. We have the translators built so that they'll install over Word. We're hoping that people will go implement this across a host of uh, OpenXML applications. But today, if you go up there and you have the compatibility pack, we have this available from Word XP um, all the way up to 2007. So all you have to do is click on this Download OpenXML to Daisy Translator, and it'll take you to the site where you can get it for your particular version of Word. In addition, if you um, scroll down just a little, um, you'll see that you have your bugs, your support requests, comments, feature requests, all that good stuff. We really want people to start giving us that information so that we can take the feedback from the community um, and really put it into this translator so it's as uh, high quality as possible. So I mentioned that the translator available on the web is for Word. I am, uh, of course, writing Word 2007. But um, I want to, again, call out this is an OpenXML translator, so it's really taking advantage of OpenXML, not Word. We just happen to build our, um, our translator on top of Word. So if I go into my file, I've created this uh, for the video. It's a simple um, demo document. We have an image here. I've populated the image with alt text, like you should in any um, document that you create, especially so that users with disabilities can consume it. In Word 2007, it lives underneath the size dialog, um, so I am getting thrown off a mechanical bowl at the company picnic, so we've populated that with alt text. Um, we have a title, styled correctly, of course, um, and then if headings at heading level 1, heading level 2, and then um, some simple text that I've generated using a, a random text generator throughout the document. So to create the DAISY file, it's as easy as hopping up here to the Office button or the File menu, uh, depending on which version of Office that you're on. Um, and you can see that we have our Save as DAISY dialog here, which is just as easy as, for example, saving as OpenXML or uh, any other format that you may want to save to. Um, so we just click the Save as DAISY option. So in this case, we're going to select a, a destination, just like we would for any other file, for the DAISY XML output. So I'm going to say put this in the uh, demo daisy uh, folder so we just send it over there um, later in uh, later versions and again the this is an alpha essentially of the daisy translator so the graphical uh, or the the prettiness of the dialogue if you will it isn't quite where we'd want it to be but uh, we'll clean that up later but again the document title and things like that will be auto populated later but we'll say this is just going to be daisy demo uh, the creator is read and the document publisher will be microsoft so we click translate you can see that's pretty much instantaneous. Uh, it's obviously the translation time is going to vary based on the amount of things like tables and more complex information you have, but it's still going to be relatively fast. You'll also notice that it says successfully translated. We do actually have a validation tool built into the translator, so we're not just pushing out random XML. We're actually checking to make sure that it's compliant um, with the uh, DAISY spec, essentially. Um, so if it's not valid, it will actually return that and say that there was a failure. And then if you drill down into the details, it will tell you exactly why it didn't produce valid Daisy XML. And if you go up to the SourceForge project site that we mentioned earlier, there are more details on exactly why this happens and um, what may uh, result in an invalid Daisy file. So now that we've produced our, um, our Daisy XML file, I'm going to hop over to a program that I downloaded called Book Wizard Producer. So I have the trial version of Book Wizard Producer. Uh, Book Wizard Producer allows me to essentially take the DAISY XML file that I've created um, from OpenXML and convert it into the more popular use of DAISY XML, that being a talking book. So if I go in and say I'd like to open a file, um, I'm going to register my trial version later, but if I go into my da demo DAISY folder, which is, um, excuse me, located on my computer, inside of C, inside of users, inside of read shaft, and we'll go into demo daisy. It is going to be a daisy XML file right now. It's not a package file, which is the more common book. That's what we're going to convert it to right now. So we click on DT book um, XML file, um, and you can see we have our daisy demo doc in here. We're going to open that up. And so then it loads our daisy demo file in. So if I drill into this, it's actually going to go in, and you can see it's actually reading out 
the file that I created earlier. And it tells me that I have heading 1, I have heading 1, level 2, and it's all styled correctly in the DAISY XML. And it's as easy as that to create um, a DAISY talking book. And this is a pretty simple demo, it's the alpha, but um, as you can see with a longer book or something, you would still have the ability to navigate across headings, across styles, across all of that. So I'm going to close um, Producer for right now. And I want to actually show you what the XML would look like if you were to um, open it up. So I'm going to reload this file. And so you'll see that what happened was is that um, it actually went in when I put this in Producer. And in my um, demo daisy, it created all of the uh, essentially packaging things that it needs to produce a full daisy book. So we have our SMIL folder, or the, the integrated multimedia portion. We have all of the daisy DTD files. But what I'm going to open up is the core XML file that we produced out of Word to show you just how clean this DAISY XML is. And that's kind of by design. I mentioned earlier that DAISY has 83 elements. That's all we need in a DAISY talking book to produce the rich semantic information that a user with a print disability might need. So if we look at this uh, XML that's output, you can see it's very simple. Um, we persist the doc author information that I put in earlier, but more importantly, I have things. So I correctly get the level of header. So um, for example, if I go down here to my level 2 heading, uh, I have all of that good information. And it's just persisted really easily. It's really easy to pop in and see just how easy and how straightforward this conversion is. So that kind of sums it up for now. Um, clearly later on we're going to have some support for a lot more features. So we're going to add in things like abbreviations and some of the things that really make for that super high quality uh, DAISY file. And moving forward, we'll definitely be looking at options like how do we make converting it to the full daisy book easier? But today, when you think about the number of people that are on Word, hundreds of millions of people, and the rapid adoption of OpenXML and the implementation across a variety of products, when you reduce this barrier to translation and you make, and this is one of the great things that all of these XML file formats allow us to do, is conversion between is so easy. And in this case, when you're moving into something as valuable as daisy, it's just great for a variety of users and it's just straightforward and easy and we hope to see a lot of people adopting it because it'll be great not just for the uh, users with disability and the print disabled community but for anybody who wants to consume text or uh, academic papers or even enterprise training type things in a different way.